how do I put this? See, I'm I'm extremely hypersensitive. So there's some things I do not communicate because I'm 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 considering what the reaction state is going to be to somebody else's antenna that is experiencing my communication to the words in which I do it, which is sound. Sound magicians, right? Um, because I have friends that that you know I've had an enormous blessing to experience so many different beings that are in my mirror th ever since I was a little child. And when you realize that um, the universe of information, if you will, if you want to think of it as think as codes or experience it to what you feel as codes of information, particularly when you get into programming, right? Programming an operating system, programming a computer, uh, programming anything, programming matter, programmable matter. So you have the vibrational state of a negative vibration and you have uh, the vibrational state of positive energy. So I know what positive energy is because I am what love is. So that's positive energy. Okay. So sometimes because, uh, you know, we, we translate from the time that we're born into a spiritual realm. Okay. That's a size. That's a scale. Okay. So, you know, I remember when I was a child, for example, you know, I was being lined up on a, because of the way that architects, Use rulers, okay? Rulers, rules, rule based functions are computer functions, which are coded functions using computer codes in software, okay? That's basic programming. We know that, right? Okay. Which aren't fire letters. So you know what fire is and you know what water is, okay? So this is very elemental stuff. Uh, so Sometimes what I try and do when I communicate with other friends that I have, her and I and others go back and forth with an enormous amount of information that what, what it really is, is reverse engineering, trying to re-explain what it is that you know that you are as, by virtue of everything that you ever experienced, that you still hold in memory, that you use the information that you share with others. That's a vast library. So what ends up happening is we get caught up in, in what I call the periphery. The peripheral. That's why that series was called The Peripheral. Now, the way I simpl simplify it is like a tree trunk. When you plant a seed, the tree grows. Okay, now you see the, the tree. So that little tiny seed has an enormous amount of information packed in that little tiny seed, which is a visual information packet, which is visual mathematic. So you realize it's codes, mathematical codes between acid and alkaline in this planet. Because you realize that the use of an electron creates an acid. Well, then you better got to you got to get rid of your waste product, right? You want to get rid of the waste, a garbage disposal somewhere, a recycling center somewhere. So there's a method to the madness, right? Okay, so you you realize what alkaline does, <laughs> running a short wave, burn it up, burn it up, burn it up. I know that because I've spent most of my life burning shit up. Okay, get rid of it. Okay. But, you know, that within itself, because you're always measuring stuff. So it's like having a built-in calculator. So when you're a monopole, you have a built-in calculator between the minus and the plus is a polarity integrator to maintain your balance, which is the balance of your water worlds. And the torque speed difference in any river and any stream is going to be the difference between the two, which is the difference between cold and hot. Okay. Compression expansion. That's a simplified version of that. So sometimes when I say to myself, if I could put a picture of me up when I'm four years of age, sitting in a little chair with a thick head of dark hair, black hair, because it was real healthy black hair that I had that was really thick. But you see a little child sitting like this. Okay, with a smile on my face, looking at you. So if I could look like that when I'm in this mirror, then imagine that a four-year-old child is talking to a woman in her 50s and saying the same thing to her at four years of age. I am what love is. What more do you need to know? And my next statement would be, wherever you find love in living spirit, you'll find us. Which means wherever creation is taking place, no matter where it is, you're going to find our energy, which is what love is. It goes on forever, which means there are no boundaries. We're everywhere. And the reason that we know that we're everywhere is because I'm a one. I'm a monopole. That's a made of chip. So that means there's no limitations to where we can be, anywhere that we need to be, wherever the light is. So that means that the spirit that represents my spirit 
is wherever that light is, wherever that love is. So you realize that in spirit form, the energetic form that I am in spirit is what love is. It goes on forever. That means my spirit is an eternal spirit. And the reason that I know that is based on the measurement of what I experience, which is the purity of my spirit, which is the purity of my fire that maintains the purity of that spirit that is that fire that is in that light. That's a purifier. That means that you know your identity in spirit form, which is energy form. So now the energy form, which is spirit form, is the essence the essence of the spirit. So I know mama's essence. I know mama's essence. I know what it feels like to feel her essence. It's not what you think. It's what I feel in my soul and the essence of my spirit being in the company and feeling the essence of a goddess, the spirit of a goddess. That's communication between essence and essence. That's essence communication, which is spiritual communication between living spirits that have essence. They go after the essence. They want to consume and eat the spirit, which is the nature of the essence of that spirit. So the more powerful the spirit, the more powerful the light, that will protect the spirit that is in that light of its essence. So when I was a little child, I realized I am spirit. I am the essence of my spirit, which is the nature of our spirit, which is the nature of our essence. So my essence as a child is to heal my parents because I'm experiencing the harm that was done to her. So that means that wherever the spirit that is in that form, that is in that energy that represents that essence, is experiencing the loss of light in us, I'm experiencing in her. Because this is her planet, right? So she's mama. So I realize as a child, I'm trying to heal mama, a mother, the birth giver of creation, a mother that's given you love. So it's much in the same way that when you realize that someone has come in to a girl's flower garden, a mother's flower garden. And what have they been doing? They want to destroy a mother's flower garden. That's off limits. That's the highest crime there is. Because when you're a monopole and you are consumed by the essence of a goddess, which means that the male side, the God side is going to naturally protect the other side, which is the mother. So that when the father and the mother become one as a monopole will protect everything that represents that comes out of them as their children, which means we protect all of creation because the birth giver of creation is the mother arc. So you have the father arc and you have the mother arc. When the father arc and the mother arc are joined as one, that is a center point a perfect balance in a real star. That's a living star. So when the spirit that is in the light, which represents the energy when the father and the spirit of Aloha are joined with the mother as one, that is the living breath of living spirit that is in that light, which is what love is that goes on forever, gifting you energy. So we have chosen to surrender our souls on behalf of all creation to give love to all creation, wherever it is that we are experiencing what we are, which is real living light that we share with others at no charge, no fee with no meter 
for your space. That's what they do. They're inverted. So when you know what an inverter is, then we have to come in and correct it. Self-correcting the real universe, which is real living light creation, because wherever you find love and living spirit, you will find us. To do what? To correct and bring back the real universe, which is what love is. That's as simple as I know how to explain it, which means if I look like I'm four years of age, I'm not going to tell you anything different than what I know and what I expressed and what I communicated in the English language when I was a small little boy is what I'm saying right now, which means it doesn't change over time. It's always been. Love has always been forever. You can never put that fire out. So when you know that, everything else that's on the periphery, which means all the information of all the other experiences that we have, that we record in memory, which are all the little boxes where all that information is stored, you can imagine how long it would take you to share everything that you've ever learned as a result of what you've learned. You just go off into space. How much time do you have to cover all this information, right? So when you're covering all this number of information, we're living in the past, which means we're not creating anything new in now time. That's looping. So the more that our energy is experiencing something brand new that we've never experienced before, when we are what love is, that is the energy that we're doing with, then that means that that experience, that event, when those circuits open and close magnetically between negative and positive magnetic space, you're experiencing no time. You're experiencing eternity, which is the love through your heart, which is the energy that we use to experience what we are, that we create the next experience. That means it's brand new. It's never been before. Nothing like that has ever been experienced. That's called breaking the mold. That's called breaking the loop. That's called breaking the programming codes. from which consciousness transportation systems have been wiped and reprogrammed for them. That's what they do because they know how to do it. That's against the law. That's against the law of one. That's what I am. I am the law of one, which makes it real simple. I am what love is in living spirit. Wherever you find love in living spirit, you'll find my spirit with my soul. That's all that needs to be said. That's what I call cut to the chase. Now, what do you want to go do? Now that we've gotten down to the simplicity of Occam's razor, now you want to go off and create something together? Let's go do that. So when I'm six years of age, wanting to do that with a little girl who's also six years of age, it's like you're already there. Right? That's the purity when you're a child. That's why they go after children. It's the purity of their heart. They haven't experienced any trauma yet. So when a little boy and a little girl want to hold hands and be together and let's go create a universe together, they're on fire. Go. No, 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 no. They got all these rules. You can't do that yet. You're not of age yet. You got to go to these public schools. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do this. You got to. And all that gets coded into their memory. And that becomes the future that they experience that they're held captive by. So they hold your consciousness transport system captive. So that you experience who they are instead of experiencing what you want to experience. So they hold consciousness captive. And those are called consciousness traps. Okay. So it's in their best sense to keep fracturing souls because that's artificial. That's the mental field. That's your black goo stuff. Different codes. See? Now you become a source of food. Now you become a battery. Now you become a slave to them. And when they're done with you, I got no more use for you because you're not working on their behalf. Bye. That's the nature of their energy. That's the nature of their consciousness. It's a virus. They're infected. Black goo is an infection. It's a, vi it's a mind virus. It's inverted. So what do you think the answer is? How much fire you got in your heart and soul? The spirit of fire. 
Spirit is in that fire. Spirit is in that water. Spirit is in that wind. Spirit of the elementals. The spirit that is guiding you. The spirit that is guiding your soul. The journey that we're on. So we thrive on the diversity, the diversity of essences, just like all the different essences of flower essences. I remember one time I, my clan mother sent to me, she goes, I send you all the flower essences. That's with an S, which means more than one. There's a lot of different fragrances of different flowers that consume you. Remember the one I mentioned walking down that street one night all by myself and all of a sudden I was experiencing jasmines Oh, wow. Locked in space, lost in time. All of a sudden, there's no time. I'm just locked into that fragrance of those flowers. That's a girl. That's a girl's flower. Okay. That's a symbol of a girl's heart, of everything she gives love to. Now you're experiencing the flower. That's what I am. I'm a flower. I've always been a flower. The seed and the flower. The seed needs a grower. So imagine you're the seed and the grower. Now you're one. <laughs> it's just too simple. But it's painful because they do not experience that. That's another measurement, isn't it? So we, as I've said this many, many times, we, co we come in with a built-in calculator. It means I don't need to use a TI-83 to already know. The calculus is built in. When you're a polarity integrator, it's like, listen, I don't need one of your TI-83s in order to keep my energy balanced, my water bowls balanced, right? But they sell those TI-83 calculators uh, to do what? Make more money off you, right? Which means you can, you, we used to do this all the time as children, right? Is go out and do stuff on the sand with our fingers, which means instead of going out and buying a TI-83 calculator using a blackboard, because they, all those things cost money and somebody's got to build all that. So all those batteries, which are used as slave batteries on behalf of corporations, are producing and generating all these things that that becomes their marketplace, right? So I'm going, hey, listen, I'm always with nature. If I want to show you something in the way that math works, let's just go out on the sand here. I'll use my finger to show you. So we used to draw maps and symbols and all, which means it doesn't cost you anything to do that with your finger in the sand, which is the crystal transmitters. Those are the crystals, the receivers and the transmitters. You're a transmitter. So use your transmitter with another transmitter, and now you can see the symbols in the sand. Right? Just like you can see the symbols in rocks. You know, the headdresses of chiefs, Native Indians, in the rocks. That's a symbol. You're learning through that. Nature has a way of, nature is the teacher. I learned that right out of the gate. Actually, I knew that before I came in here. That's why I ran right into nature. Form follows function. The spiritual energy that is in all that energy is teaching you. I call her a healing artist. Nature heals you. Absolutely. She's a healing artist. Have a great day. Bye now.